Hello everyone, today we simulate a bolt connection in first step pretension of bolt and after this pending load on construction. So next we need preparation in CID, bolt, washer and nut are fused together and the cut in the middle so that we have two solids. For better visualization I will use half model. After CID preparation I import my part in Prepo Max mesh it and create contact between bolt and part surfaces. Define pretension section. Pretension section is a split in the mesh with displacement or force boundary conditions. And finally simulation where the bolt and nut are pulled together. For CRD modeling I use FreeCAD, add-on, macro for bolts, the name Screwmaker you can install it with Add-on Manager. Here you can see screw maker for bolts or nuts with or without triad according ISO standards. After installation you can simply add the bolts and nuts into your CID. I create two metal plates and M10 bolt with nut half model. This is what it look like. I print additional lines and create surfaces for better contact definition. Export my CRD in step file and go to the Prepomax. Start new project with units millimeter ton second and import my part. Create component part from bolt and nut. I will one mesh with pretension section. After this create global mesh parameter for all parts with max, max element size 5 and min element size 1 mm. Refine mesh at contact surfaces. For metal part with 2 mm and for bolt and nut surfaces 1 mm. And create mesh. Check the elements tube. It is element C3D10 tube. Create material, elastic with A modulus and Poisson ratio. Create solid section and add all parts to solid section. To definition of contact, first define surface behavior, tube linear, values of surface behavior I leave it on default and add friction with 0.1 friction coefficients. Start search contact pairs. Prepomax font 3 contact pairs between two parts, between top part and bolt and between bottom part and nut. I change color of master surface to red. I want to mesh the surfaces of bolt and nut more finely with one millimeter. 
and define the surface as a slave in contact. Top contact is correct, but bottom, con bottom contact is not okay. I change master surface to metal part and slave surface to surface from nut. Additionally, I create two soft springs at bolt and nut only for balance, for better simulation convergence. Stiffness of one newton millimeter in x, y direction. For pretension section, in step, I need to create a boundary layer because the surface for pretension section must meet special conditions. You cannot use surface from tetrahedral elements. The results will be wrong. More information you can find in Calculix user manuals, chapter 7.101, pretension section. We go in menu model, tools, and select co command, create boundary layer. Select surface from bolt and create 0.1 mm layer. Here you can see this elements layer. Now we can create step 1. Static, non-linear geometry on, tube automatic with initial time increment 0.1 second. OK. First boundary conditions is fixed. The bottom metal part. After this, create displacement boundary conditions on the right side of top metal part. I will move it in the second step after bolt pretension. It is half model, so we need symmetrical boundary conditions in Y. To pretension load, I make invisible nut and create new load. Select the surface from boundary layer. Pretension can you define with displacement or force. I make it with force. Of course, we use here half of pretension force because we have half model and that pretension force to 12,000 Newton. Step 1 is complete. I duplicate it to second step. In second step, I change only displacement from top part in x direction 5 mm. So bending with 5 mm. Rename analysis. Save my model. And start simulation. Simulation is finished. You can see step 1 and step 2 are complete. Two results. You can see uh, the bolt connected part are bent. Change results to Mises stresses. Step 1 is pretension of bolt and after in step 2 is bending. 
Additionally, you can create a reaction force plot for pretension section. All knots from bolts must then have 12,000 newton and from nuts also 12,000 newton. Animate step 2. It was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.